So hi everyone, it's Jelly Set Infinite Modesty Design. Of course, we'll be making a gathered layer raffle skirt. Hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget, guys, like and subscribe. Okay, guys, so we are gonna start. Uh, first, we're gonna be making a skirt. Um, it's a very simple skirt, but we're gonna put on some applique on the skirt, okay? Just to kind of make it fashionable. So I have a black fabric here, um, and then I have some colorful fabric here to kind of enhance the skirt. <laughs> so we'll see how um, everything turn out. One other thing I wanna let you know is that if you're using, it's always good to use a solid fabric, and then maybe a decorative fabric to kind of bring out the effect of the skirt. Okay, you could also use, you know, different color, um, fabric as the main as well that's perfectly fine but for this look um it's always good to you could actually use a solid and then a mixed color to kind of you know just have fun have fun with it a bit okay so the person i'm making the skirt for is the waist is 30. so the first thing i want to do here and i'm going to get an elastic waistband so you could get a like a one inch elastic if you're making it for an adult so you could actually hang well on the adult okay um i have uh, throughout this course that i'll be having a half an inch elastic so you could always go ahead and get a one inch elastic to work um for you itself okay so the waist is 30 i have a 30 um inch elastic here i just go exactly the waist because i'm gonna say elastic stretch right so i don't need any extra easing because this is already stretched i might even have to come in a couple um you know maybe an inch two inch what an inch a half an inch in order for to seal it up so Okay, so that's the elastic we have here. Then I have the garment. So listen how we could determine the skirt. Depends, if you really want a really flowery, like a really gathery skirt, you could go more or less. I have about a yard and three quarter of an inch here. A yard and three quarter of an inch here. Right, so a yard is 36, so 36 is one yard. Okay, so just to, to get you, let you guys know what is um, the, uh, the yard itself. 36 inches is one yard. So I have a yard and three quarter of an inch, not exactly two yards. You could go two yards, uh, but how you could calculate this as well, once you see the skirt and you decide you, know, you wanna make the skirt, if you want the skirt not to be too gathery, you could actually make, um, go with your waist, multiply by, your waist time too, sorry. So let's say your waist is 20, you could go with 20 um, plus 20 is 40. So you could make the, the length of this to be 40 inches in length. Right, so it was a yard and something, and then if you could also go at your waist time three, so that make it sixty inches in length itself for the for the fabric itself. Okay, so you could decide um, how more or how less you want to do it. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I'll have my fabric down here, and then I also have this here. So this is some applique we're gonna put on the um, garment. So what I have here, I have three yards because I didn't measure how much I probably need. So I have about three yards of um, string here. So this is three yards itself in the length, okay? And then the width is about five inches. Again, once you kind of get the hang of the skirt, you could always adjust and make it your own. So about five inches, you may not have to go five inches if you don't want to for the width. You could go less, you could go more, all the depends, okay? So this, we're gonna put that uh, at least as a, as a little style on the skirt itself, something like that on the skirt. Yeah, okay. All right, and then we could gather it. We could um, uh, we could gather it. If you have needle and thread, you could gather it. So we'll see how we get there um, once we get to put it on itself. So you need two, two pieces I have here. You could go ahead and put one. You know, you could definitely go ahead and do that. All right, so for the measurement of the skirt, I did have a detailed video of how to measure the skirt itself, and I, I wouldn't go too, 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 too much in detail here. But what I wanna say, the length of your skirt, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have at least one inch for the hemming. So we're gonna have one inch, so whatever length you want for the skirt, one inch for your hemming. And then we're gonna put at least one and a half inch here for um, our um, elastic casing. So about three inch, so about two and a half inches extra right for the hemming and the case in itself okay okay so let's get started now the first thing i want to do here guys i want to go and i'm going to seal this edge here okay if you have a serger so this is the let's say this is this i think this garment i could wait on both sides so let's say this is the wrong size so i'm just going to mark it here um get my chalk so let's just work with this as the wrong side okay so i'm going to go on the sewing machine and i'm going to seal this up here I'm gonna seal my one inch. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually 
do the bottom first. Remember to say one inch for the hemming. So I'm gonna fully make it one inch for the hemming. Okay, so we're gonna seal it up half an inch here and then we're gonna come up to that one inch here. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go down and sew the one inch. That's the first thing we're gonna do here. So just go ahead. Once you do the one inch, you come up a bit here and then you come up, you come up here, right to the to the half an inch, to the one inch here, and then you just fold it up. So you have that one inch hem in there. Okay. So we're gonna do that all the end of the skirt. And then we go ahead and on the machine, we're gonna hem this down first before we proceed to the next, okay? Okay guys, so we are gonna start now. So I'm just gonna follow this here. Again, I have a white shirt at the top and I have a black shirt in the bottom. So again, you always wanna use a thread that works with your garment. But again, I'm just gonna leave this so you could actually see what I'm doing here. So we're just gonna, all eyes is just gonna be here. That's it. See here, so pretty much I have a black thread here, so it's actually work out well. So now we're back just showing that we are on the wrong sides here so this is what we seal and we can see the edge here right so this is how we're gonna go ahead and do this now we're just gonna turn it so this is the right sides and then we're gonna work with the bottom first okay now what I want you to do I want you to measure one inch from the edge of the bottom away from the bottom like one inch here so this is the bottom of course you have to go ahead and iron it to make sure it stay down nicely right so just to iron it down if you got any extra threads we'll take it off after then we want to have one inch from the edge here so one inch from the bottom one inch away okay then what we're gonna do we are gonna take our um fabric here and just make sure that it's right sides facing you right so with our fabric here now we're gonna fold this in we're gonna fold this in actually like this just fold it in like, like this and we're gonna put it on like this right just fold it in just like this that's perfectly fine and then what we're gonna do we're gonna put it at the edge of this of the um just at the edge of the stitch here okay we'll just fold it in at the edge we're just gonna paint at the edge of the stitch here okay i'm gonna pin this here probably take another one here and pin it like almost to the middle of this All right I'm just gonna pin it temporarily actually for this one because really what I want is to pin to, to the both edge I have three yards here guys you don't even have to have three yards 
and make sure I'm not twisted. I have less than three yards, of course. Fold this in, you fold this one inch in, yeah, that should be fine. And then I'm gonna take my pin and I'll put it right at the edge here and right at the edge of this stitch, okay? All right, so like this. So I can always pull out the middle part, no big deal. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take the needle and thread, take my needle and thread, hopefully everything is all good here. And I'm gonna just um, gather this in. So I'll just, just gather maybe around here. So around here, just gather it in. You could also pleat it in as well, but I rather the gathering. Like you will just full pleat it in, but the gather actually to me looks more enhanced and when you gather you want to make sure you have a lot uh, enough um threads right enough thread you could also do machine gather as well if you wish just do hand gather here This needle to stick me. Okay, so I'm gonna, just gonna pull this here. So the gather part sometimes does take time. So I'm gonna pull it here. So we just the goal is that we to actually come like this, right? So I'm just gonna gather it here. So we have quite a bit of a gather, so I'm just gonna gather it all the way to the end. So just continue doing that all the way to the other end and then we'll, um, yeah, so just like this. Make sure when you gather, you put the, the boat together like this. Okay, so go ahead and finish gathering it to the end and then we will connect to, um, to style it, okay? So I just wanna show you, so I've started here because it's, you know, it's quite a bit too, Pin. So I've pinned some of them down here. Let me just show you what I did here and then we will go on the machine. So what I've done, when I do the gather, I use the thread now to pull it, to adjust it to the end of my skirt here, right? And then I'm gonna just take my pin and I'm gonna pin it right at the very edge of my seam here for my stitch. All right, so something like that. I'm just gonna pin it. So you're not, there's no need pinning because it's a gallery, right? So there's nothing that is all fancy just when we sew in the way to make sure we actually sew uh sew everything down so um and you'll see what i'm talking about I'm just pinning it randomly. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out here. So I got the edge of the seam here. Even when we sew it, we had to fix it anyway, as we sew it down, so you would see. <laughs> this is so heavy, it's falling down. Okay. Um, Something like that, you just want to kind of. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go on the machine now and we're going to sew it down. 
Once we sew it down, then we'll do a top stitch. We'll iron, we're supposed to iron, and then we'll do a top stitch. So let's go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna start here. I'm just gonna do it right here. And then we're gonna gently sew as we go along. So you want to make sure that all your pleats it's folded out because it's so easy that you could miss it as well right so i want that So, what I want to do now immediately, I'm going to try to do a top stitch. Let's see. It's supposed to iron it, but I'm going to take out the thread first. And what I want you to do, take out the thread and then iron it, and then we're going to come back and do a top stitch, okay? So, I will just take out the thread itself and come back to the top stitch. You will take out the thread and you will iron it. Very important, okay? And when you iron it, you iron it like this. You iron it down like this, okay? So, iron it down this way. 
So I'm just gonna do a top stitch. So the top stitch now, I'm just gonna follow right at the edge of my, um, my fabric here. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. This part is very important. That's why you see how to iron it and you had to pull it down. See how I pull it down here? Take your time to make sure, and it's very important to iron. So this is my guide here. There you go. I'll show you another way to do this if this might be too hard for um, the domestic machine. But it's very thick, so I'll. I'll show you another way in the, when we do the next one, because we have another one to do. Um, we might not gather, it might just fold it. Maybe it might be a little bit easier, I'll show you. And you could decide which one you wanna go with. Because if you have a domestic machine, sometimes this part could be hard. Because it's, it's very cheap fabric. Okay, so we finished this one, which is awesome. So for the next one now, I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do if you have to um, choose which one. So what we're gonna do first, we're just gonna do right sides to right sides and we're gonna sew it down and then we're gonna turn it with a pin, okay? And then I'll show you how um, we could do another way instead of doing the gathered if you don't wanna do the gathered. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go that the because I want a small seam allowance. I don't want a big seam allowance, so quarter finish is fine.
Okay, so now we're going to get our pin and we're going to turn it around and then we're going to continue. And then we're just going to turn it around and iron it. So I'm just going to show you how we're going to do the turning around. So turn it, we're going to push it down. All right. And then we're going to go ahead. Once we turn it around nicely, we're going to iron it neatly. And I'll show you how we could do it without doing the gather itself. We could just kind of hand gather it, gather it sorry. Okay. okay. So go ahead and finish. So yeah, finish turning it around and then we're going to meet back after we iron it to continue. Okay. So we are finished with this now. So what I did, I've turned it and I'm ironing and I also sealed the edge. Okay, I just poked the edge inside. Um, let's see, this was was turned. Right, let's see it was turned. And what I did is just poke it on the inside. I just shoved the edge on the inside. That's all I did. Right, shove it on the inside. And I just sit it down. Shove it neat on the inside. And I sit it down, right? That's all I did after I turn it, poked it inside, and I sit it down and I sew. Yeah, sew it down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and assess. So, this is how we finish it here. It's, uh, but then when we do the top stitch, you sort of keep it down, I keep it down towards that side, and then we iron it, right? Okay, so the next thing I'm doing now. What I've done, I'm just gonna put um, to this end here so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so right here. So what I've done here, and guys, this is something that is not like you have to do this. If you don't wanna do that extra applique, that's perfectly fine. Um, and again, you could actually go higher if you want, lower all the pens. So the other piece we're gonna put in here now, I just gonna, I just put nine inches down from the waist. Keep in mind, I also have my one and a half inch for my elastic casing as well so nine inches down from the waist i just marked the nine inches down remember i say also i come in one inch here right so that's the one inch like how i come in one inch here so then i mark nine inches down from the edge here all the way down right nine inches down all the way to the to the other end of the skirt all right so all the way to the other end all right my nine I mark my nine inches down. Sorry, uh, making sure you can see this here. So yep, I mark my nine inches down, nine inches down. See the marking is already there. So nine inches down, nine inches down, nine inches down, all the way to the end here, nine inches down, okay? All right, so with this now, this is just a guide. So this is what I wanna do here. So I wanna just start from here. All right, and this is what you could do. This could, you could do a, like a hand, hand fold. So eventually I'm gonna take out all these threads. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna turn it this way. It doesn't really matter which way you turn it anyway. And you could do a hand fold, hand gather, I would say. So do hand gather, make sure I have some pins here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna follow. Actually, I may have lost my mind already down here, sorry. So down here, I'm just gonna start with some hand gather, just away from the, the starting point. Like you could just come between like this if you, this if you want. You could decide which one is easier for you. All right. Or you could actually just go ahead and do the needle on the thread. I think it's fine. All right, so. You just have to do that all the all the and you follow your guide too, right? So sometimes when you make it, the only thing is that sometimes when you make it, it's, you still have extra space, and then you have to look for place now you could actually put together. So we'll see. I'm just showing you this is down another way you could do it as well. I personally like less just like to gather it in, to be honest with you. So that I know that I could be, I just have to adjust, you know. So I get anything between here, just a little something, maybe. So 
that's just another egg if you want to do this way, right? So we see how we get. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna kind of do some big um, thing here and move some of my checkpoint because I just wanna make sure that I have enough to gather in. So I'm gonna leave some here and just put some here. So I just leave this here to so see if I can gather. Cause I wanna make sure I'm even, have enough. And I don't gather some too much. I don't have, I don't have enough for the other. Or I have too much, you know, so. I think I have a lot. And again, I just want to make sure that I don't twist anything too, so. Okay, good. So I'll start here. And I can always just continue here. Following my guide. So I have, I have a bit here, which is good, it's not twisted, good. Then I can just gather this inside. is done. I think I have a lot in here though. Shall we move down some? Yep, so I have a lot in here. I'm just gonna move down some. Get the hang of it now. So just go ahead and fit it in. So you see all these things. I'll just try to gather them in between, in between, right? And if you find you have a lot, just figure out some more gathering just in between, okay? So finish this out and then we will actually move on to the next step. So this is how it is now. See how it is? Nice and pretty. Okay, so now we will go ahead and sew it down in a bit. But before we go, let's just, you know, do a lot of um, sewing before we instead of one one. So once we're gonna once we do that, be careful with the pin. Now I'm just gonna turn the skirt wrong sides facing me, and I'm gonna prepare for my elastic casing. Right, so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So I'm gonna do. I think we have one and a half. Yeah, we have one inch here, and then we have. Um, one inch down right and make sure we have one inch yeah that's what we have right so and remember our goal is to make sure we have enough space for the elastic we want to have this quarter of an inch on both side of the elastic sorry if it's dark i can't really see but that's what we want so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna do one inch half an inch and then one inch all the way down so half an inch and then one inch all the way again follow the other guy that like i showed you how to make the how to measure the skirt how to measure the elastic casing so okay so we're gonna go half an inch one half an inch one inch pins partially part because before we even sew anything before we do um the, the casing we're gonna actually do the the side first but so let me just go ahead and prep it still half an inch oh sorry half an inch i'll just bring this up to the half an inch right and then bring the half an inch bring this up to the half an inch sorry i'm bringing the half an inch down to the one inch down here 
just bring the fabric up to the half inch and then I'll just bring it up to the one inch. So I didn't change anything because the elastic, the fabric is a little bit thick. So what I've done, I just take my edge of my fabric here and I'll just bring it up to here, to like a little, and I take that edge and I bring it up to here. So I'll have, I have enough casing because I want to make sure the elastic goes through nicely. So I'll bring this up right here, right? Then I bring this all up to here. Okay, so I bring this all up to here. Up to here. And don't worry about this opening. Will on, on the machine when we sew it, it will everything will work out into place anyway. And I just want to make sure that I'm okay. Right, that's good. It's always good to have extra room than you is too tight because we have a pin to go through with and the pin is space and all that. So, and then we're gonna do a thin stitch anyway. Okay, I'll leave the end, I'll fix it when I go to the machine. So just bring that right around here. I'm just gonna fold this in. Okay guys, so we are meet on the machine. We'll sew down the uh, the pin part, uh, the applique, and then we will do the sides. Okay, so you see the sides, if you notice the sides, I leave some space on the sides of the skirt. So then we will sew it down on the machine now. Okay, so we're gonna be sewing this down now. So any side you wanna start is fine. Just gonna take my time and sew it down.
Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do now, we're not gonna sew down this yet, okay? We're gonna actually seal the sides. So the sides, we're gonna make the side seam. So I'm just gonna do one inch down for the side seam, okay? You could do half an inch down, you don't have to do one inch down. So I'm just gonna see on this side here. I'm just gonna pin it down, just to make sure. And then I'm gonna come here as well. So make sure it's all lined up here. Right, and then I put my um, I put my so actually make sure it's really line up here. Make sure these two areas line up really nicely. Okay, so you don't have any mismatch. And the end. Okay, and I'll just put one um more pin. Okay, so I'm gonna go out and just do my one inch down. I'll step on the bottom here. So once we're gonna do, what we're gonna do now is actually put in the elastic casing and close it up. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay guys, so now, so this is the back of our skirt where we did the one inch, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave a space here. We could even leave a, like one and a half inch to two inch opening here, just by the seam here. And we're gonna start here, okay? So we're gonna start to sew our our casing for the elastic around here. And I'm just gonna do a really thin um, stitch. You can make yours as big as you want, guys. So this is not a restriction that if you don't follow this, it wouldn't come out, you know. It, it all depends on your elastic and your elastic and my elastic might be totally different. So I'm just gonna make a case in here. And so it I'm just gonna do a thin stitch. and I'll fix it out as I go along because I didn't I'm just gonna pull it out as I go along so now I have it here I'm just gonna fix it here for you now I want you to actually pin it through I doesn't want to pin it all the way through so make sure once you're doing it you pin it through as the per the first video of the skirt is the same method okay
Okay, guys, so uh, now that we're done, so put two pins, of course, you have to have two pins, one on each end of the elastic, and then we'll go ahead and push it through the loop, okay, just like this. Now we're going to continue pushing it through the loop. So I did do a couple of other videos um, um, pushing the skirt to the loop, which you have an idea. You could actually um, refer through it, and then we will meet back to uh, finish up the skirt, okay? Just turn it here. So I finished putting the elastic. Like I mentioned, this is I'm making it actually for a little girl, for my little baby. Well, for my little girl, let's put it like that. <laughs> so for you now, if it's an adult, you could actually always make a tika elastic, or you could, you know, it's always best to go to tika elastic if you're making it for an adult and maybe a thin elastic for a child. Again, it doesn't really make a big difference, but it's just just my opinion anyway. So, so it doesn't have to be that, but yeah. So. Anyway, we have the back set up nicely here. We have this here. So let me just show you how we did the uh, elastic here. So the elastic casing here. So when it comes to it comes to the casing, I'll pin it and I put a pin here. So now what I will do before I close it, and I will go ahead and measure it on the little girl, uh, just to make sure the person I'm making it for, if it's yourself and for whoever, uh, before you seal it down, you want to measure. So before you see it, you want to measure it and see if it fit, and then you can actually seal it up, right? Yeah, so once it fits, so what I will do, I'm just going to sew it down. Eventually, I will fit it on and see if it's okay. If I need to take in more of the elastic or whatever, and then I'm going to close it shut. So once I measure it, just to see how it fits, then I'm just going to adjust here. I'm just going to do some back stitch action. good enough and lastly before I do anything else I'm gonna just seal that edge just make sure you're sure that it fits you could actually do another fitting again just to make sure but once you're sure then you seal the edge so sealing the edge now you just have to stretch it and then you fold it last just as before you put it down all right I'll just you can go ahead and put a pin to seal it if you want but the goal is just to stretch it. So I'm just gonna just gonna stretch it here. Okay, so I have my pin here, my um press it down. So now I'm gonna just try to fix it now. I think I go in too much here, that's why. So when you try to stretch it, you gotta stretch it to make sure it fit evenly. This part could be a little stress. <laughs> um but once you do your, once you take your time, it you'll be fine. So, put it in, fold it in, and I'll just stretch it nicely, making sure that this is top down nicely too. Okay, good stuff. See you down. Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure I get my seal here, and I'll pull it really nice. You could always do it with pin first, guys. It's better. You're gonna move, settle. Um, okay, I'm good so far. All right, so let's see the final work. So this is our turn of So all we're gonna do is just use the professional iron and you're good to go.